Hi, good evening. God bless you so much. My name is Lady Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Odro, and I welcome all of you to tonight's episode of the Real Woman in Me show. I love it. Every Monday we meet, we talk, we learn, we grow together. Just call somebody to tell the person it's time. As usual, you know how we do it every Monday, 10 p.m. to 10.30. You don't go anywhere. It's just here. Praise TV. We enjoy it together. Just go to social media platforms. Facebook, The Real Woman in Me Official. Instagram, The Real Woman in Me underscore. YouTube, Reverend Dr. Charlotte Ojo. Just go to all those platforms. Follow. Just download the videos and get involved. Let's learn because we all need this information to build our homes. When the homes are built well, when the families are sound and they are okay, we'll get a good and very peaceful environment and the society will be prosperous and will increase in good health. The church will be okay. Everything will be okay. If the kids are sound, if the parents are okay, there's peace everywhere. When the families are not okay, the church can't work. The society will not work. But when the families are at peace, everything we desire, we shall surely get it. So just go to all social platforms and let's learn together. I remember every Thursday, 12 p.m. on all social media platforms, we'll do the married table. We learn, we grow, we get more insights into life. And the same Thursday, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m., we do the midnight walk. Don't miss it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. But let me give this information to where you go to Instagram. Some people are using my names to, to fraud people. And they will tell you, child of God, I see this. It's all fake. It's a fraud. Send this money to this orphanage. I'm giving this warning. Please, if anybody send you such messages, it's a fraud. Report that page. It's not from my page. Thank you so much. Today, I saw something in the Bible I wanted us to share. This society, this generation, things we need to learn things we need to get information about. Find whether you are part of these people the Bible is talking about. Proverbs chapter 7. Let me read from the verse 4. It says, say to wisdom, you are my sister. Let's get wisdom. In all our gettings, let's get wisdom. Because this generation, most of our young guys, your young women, are being misled by things they see on social media. The forbidden woman, are the ones these men are going for. The senseless men are the ones these young girls are going for. Let's read what the Bible says. It said, say to wisdom, you are my sister. And call inside your intimate friend. Let's get insight into life. Marriage, relationship. If you don't have insight, you mess up. To keep you from, from the forbidden woman. When you get wisdom, when you get insight, it will help you to escape the forbidden woman. But any man or any guy that refuses to get insight to this world, get wisdom in this life, you will go for, for the for, forbidden woman and that will be a distraction to your life. He said to keep you from the forbidden woman, what can keep you from the forbidden woman is only insight and wisdom into the things of God. From the adulteress with her smooth words. So you can escape from that woman, that forbidden woman, that has sweet words, that will sway to you, that will misdirect you, that will make you destroy your life. Many young guys have this kind of ideology, or I don't know what is happening. The directions they are going, it's not the direction of God. Be careful of the forbidden woman. And the senseless man. The sixth. For at the window of my house, I have looked out through and I have seen among the simple. I have perceived among the youth a young man lacking sense. He said, we see afar. We watch people from out there. We watch from our windows and we see how people are going wayward. We see the senseless men and the forbidden women. We are in a society where young ladies think that when they go nude, young men think that when they sleep around, that makes them men. We are in a society where young ladies do what they have to do to get what they want to get. 
people are okay because the things they say, some of, of, of the things that comes out from this young, young girls of this generation, you ask yourself whether they have matters at home. Morals have lost, we've lost our place when it comes to morals. Most of our young girls have messed it up. Young guys, because they have rejected wisdom. And they have rejected insight to the things of God. People don't have value for God again because they think because of what some men of God have done. God doesn't even exist again. No matter what the man of God has done to you, whatever it is, God is still God. He said, I watch and I see among the youth, a young man lacking sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house. We see young men with no sense passing to the direction of the forbidden woman. Many young guys are in a relationship when you ask them, why are you in this relationship with this, this woman? They have nothing, to, they have no sensible thing to tell you. You will hear them say, oh, she's beautiful. She has this. And some of the people would tell us the money. If you say the, the breasts, the buttons, the flat tummy doesn't count, then uh, how will a man be attracted? You are attracted to, to, to things that doesn't make sense. If only your attraction is to things that has no permanent stay. If you are attracted to things that will, will be there today or will not be there tomorrow, then I'm sorry. Your attraction is to negative things, not to positive things. You're not attracted to the, the, the good things in that person. Nothing attracts you to that person. It's only the physics that attracts you to the person. Then there is a problem. He said, we have seen young guys lacking sense. If a man gets wisdom from God, if a man gets insight from God, the way they see things are different from the things or from the way people see things what they for to be carnally minded is death but to spiritually minded is life people don't respect spiritual work people don't respect spiritual things they work carnally they work by the things they see but we are not moved by what we see we are not moved by what we hear but we are moved by what God says. We are not moved by circumstances. But we are moved by the directions of God. Any man that is moved by the things they see. By the things they hear. And not by the directions of God. I'm scared of your future tomorrow. Read it. Proverbs chapter 7. Men that lack sense. They pass through. They pass through the journey. Of that forbidden woman. In the twilight. In the evening, at the time of night and darkness, in the day you see them in that direction to that forbidden woman. In the night you still see the same man in the, that direction of that forbidden woman. The 10, it said, and behold, the woman meets him, dressed as a prostitute, willing of heart. She is loud and wayward. Her feet do not stay at home. Now in the street, now in the market, that forbidden woman, she doesn't stay home. She's a wayward woman. Some men will say that we love that wayward women. Any man that lacks sense will say, that's what the Bible said, he say it. Proof chapter 10. He said, when a man lacks sense, they go for the wayward woman. They go for the, say, the woman that will seduce them. She dressed like a prostitute. She would seduce you by her attraction, by her beauty, and not by what is inside her, what God has installed in her. She will lead you to a path of destruction. Hey, the 13, she seizes him and kisses him. And with bold faith, she says to him, I had to offer sacrifices, and today I appeared my vows. That woman has a vision why she's coming into your life. That woman that you are allowing her to, to lure you by her looks, by her words, 
that what she's offering you, she has a purpose why she's coming into your life. She's coming to destroy you. She's coming to bring you down. Her path is death and not life. She's dressed to seduce you for a purpose. He said, we should leave you. There are many young girls that are forbidden women. They are forbidden by God because they have chosen a path that is not from God. A path of death. A path of destruction. And that's the woman you have chosen. My dear young girl, you, you dress seductive to, 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 to seduce people. You dress as sorry Jesus, that's what the Bible says, as a prostitute. In the mindset to get men. Have we not seen this generation, most of the young girls, thinking that the buttons or the ass, sorry to use the word, is their source of making wealth. That is the woman that is forbidden by God, as Proverbs chapter 7 says. She thinks her looks is to make her a woman. She thinks that by getting whatever she wants, using what she has, her backside, using cosmetics and whatever, will make her get whatever she wants in life. Will make her acquire whatever she wants and get in life. Most of our young girls have forgotten and are relying on their physics. And most men are moved by that. Most men are moved by that beauty they see. Mr. Man, be careful. For the part of that woman is death. She is the forbidden woman. Most people don't see the value in themselves again. When they lose all their physics, they have no value again. That guy wants you because of your breast or your ass. And you are happy about it. I cry for, for this generation. For many young girls that think that if you have the, the backside, the front side. Yes, naturally if you have it, it's good, it's beautiful. It's an uh, adapt to you. Most young girls are paying, they are paying, they are sacrificing their lives just to get that flat to be their back and their front. What for? What is the motive? To attract men. To attract greater men. To bring greater men down. They have a motive. They have a vision. Coming into your life is not because they love you. They are not coming into your life because you're, oh, you're a good man. No. They are coming into your life for a purpose. They have been sent to destroy you. Be careful, Mr. Man. Don't lack sense. Get wisdom. Get insight. My young girl, that you think this society is all about, your breasts, your ass, and whatever. So you succumb yourself to surgeries. Everything just to get that shape. It's good. That is your choice. But the motive behind it, where is going to lead you tomorrow? You regret it. Don't be the forbidden woman. Don't be the rejected woman. Don't be that woman that God will turn his back against you. Don't be that woman. The Bible said that woman, she dresses to seduce people. Her motives are bad and she will lure you to death and not to life. Let's learn this. I see many young girls out there and their desire and their prayer to get things people have gotten. I've seen so many people on social media. I meet young girls and when they, I speak to them, their motives, their dreams, it's not to better themselves in education, better themselves morally, but all that they desire. I want to be like her. I want to save money to, do, to go to the hospital, do surgery, just to get whatever I have to get. Because many people say that since I did what I have done, I get more market. What are you selling? Young girl, what are you doing to your life? What are 
are you sowing into your future? Do you know the implications that goes with it? Do you know the mistakes you are making? Do you know how you are, you are affecting your generations with the decisions you are taking? Let's be careful. And don't be the forbidden woman. The Bible said that forbidden woman, she said, wait, what a woman? She doesn't stay at home. Many women have no time to stay at home and learn. And some of you, the, them who are, are proud to say that, no, is it by force to cook? Is it by force to know how to do domestic things at home? No, no, if a man has money, he should employ somebody. No, it is, it is a mistake if you don't know how to cook. It is a mistake if you can't take care of your home. For yourself, not because of a husband, but for yourself. You think you are educated. You think you have the money so you can employ. Yes, you can employ. But it is good to learn on your own. The Bible says this in Proverbs chapter 7. That woman is a wayward woman. She doesn't stay at home. She has no morals. She doesn't learn from the parents. She doesn't know anything. How to take care of her home, clean, wash, cook. You having money doesn't make you better than someone who knows how to cook. The Bible has said it. You read it. Proverbs chapter 7. Read from the verse one goal. He says, she's a wayward woman. Any woman that doesn't see the responsibility of taking care of herself, her home, cooking, cleaning, washing, and she thinks she's above it. She's a mistake. Yes, you can pay somebody to do it, pay your level. But you must know how to do it for yourself. You must learn how to do it for yourself. She's always at the market. Means that you see her, you see her at every party. In every club, you see her there. You see her on the street. She's not at home. She's not at home working, sitting down, acquiring skills in life. Building herself up. Learning how to talk to people. Learning how to dread decently. Learning how to communicate with people. Knowing when to talk and when not to talk. Knowing how to address people and not speak anyhow to people because she thinks she, she's there. She has made it. There are many young girls in this society that speaks anyhow with no respect. That speaks without directions. Because they think they are the boss. Because they think they've made money. I beg you, my woman, no matter the money you've made, no matter where you are, sorry, where you are, no matter the people you're connected to, <laughs> please, you cannot disrespect people, no matter big or small. Morals is a key. Address people right. I've seen so many people rising and they allow pride to enter into them. And they think it doesn't matter. It does, my young lady. It does, Mr. Man. No matter where you are today, no matter how you are rising, please don't ever look down upon people. Don't ever treat people as if they don't matter. Don't do it. Don't ever look down upon people. Don't do it. Young girl, that you think you cannot be controlled by your parents, controlled by people, sit down, learn morals, learn how to cook, learn how to take care of yourself, learn how to build yourself up. Watch your words. Watch your attitude. Most of the women are cheeky. They have no respect. You go to social media and you see some of the people, the way they insult elderly people. And it doesn't matter if that elderly person has no respect for himself or herself. It doesn't matter. Two wrongs never makes a right. If they are making a mistake, it doesn't mean we have the right to also make mistakes. You see, everything can be taken away from us, but the word of God is still the same. It has never changed. It will never change. Some people say that good girls doesn't pay. You are lying. Your bad deeds can open doors for you, but the same door can destroy you. Good girls pay. They pay with dignity. You pay with honor. A day is coming. Your bad deeds will follow you. Your bad deeds will stop that greater door that you need. You think this small, small doors opening for you means you are good? You are okay? Good, good deeds pays. It pays at the right time. It pays when you know 
I never thought somebody was watching me. I never thought people were listening to me. Good deeds, they will pay one day. God is not a man that he will lie. He will not lie to us. He's faithful. That desire and that direction you have taken as a young lady, as a, as a man, that is lacking sense. And as a woman that wants to dress sed to seduce people, watch out. Some of you think it's our life. You have, a, you have your rights, but listen, there is a man up there who gives you life. There is somebody up there who made this world. It is not your place. This world is not your place. This God will one day demand for your life. You cannot say, I have my right. You may have your right, but the day God will exercise his right on us, you have nowhere to stand. Let's learn. We've lost our morals in this generation. Most of us have lost it because they think when you do the other things, the world will follow. Yes, you may have the crowd, <laughs> but the same crowd will destroy your life. The seed we are planting will reap them one by one. She said, the Bible said, she's a wayward woman. She hasn't stay at one place. She's everywhere. Running through everything. Going everywhere. Has no life. Has no future. I saw two African young guys that have been able to get the Bill Gates um, scholarship. African young guys. I saw a 23 young African lady that has been able to get a PhD. I saw 50 Cent's son that got the best student, a 10 year old boy, the best African student in his school. The people are learning, you know, they are not, they are not going naked to, to get this honor. They are not, they are not showing their breasts or their flat tummy to get this honor. This honor is not being given to women with shape and breast. No, it's given to people with intellectual. People that are starting in life. You may not be that smart when it comes to book, but you may be smart in something. Fashion. You may be smart in writing. You may be smart in drawing. You have the skill. Build it up. If your skill is go nude, then I'm sorry, you are messing up your future. Don't let anybody lie to you. That because the, the nudity is paying. Because people are eager to see prostitution. Hey, there are men that would pay for prostitution. They are paying for your destiny. They are destroying your life. That woman, forbidden woman, she's everywhere. In the market, on the street, every corner. You see her there. You may be on every social media platform. And people are paying to see your nudity. I'm sorry for you. Tomorrow, you will cry. Don't be that forbidden woman. And don't be the man that lacks sense. A man that acquires insight and wisdom goes far. A woman that seeks for wisdom and insight goes far. Don't follow the crowd. People enter into relationship. You see those people on social media and they don't care where they can wear only brazier, only pot. I even saw some today. She was just naked on social media. You can just imagine the level they have got into drugs, drinking, sleeping around. I don't blame you. Maybe you didn't get somebody to love you, to be there, to support you. Yes, listen to the truth today. No matter what you've done in your past, nobody has a right to judge you. But you have the opportunity to change. So change. Going naked doesn't make you a woman. Showing your breasts and whatever doesn't make you a woman. Having the breasts and all that doesn't make you a woman. What makes you a woman is the honor you utter around. The honor you carry. Keeping yourself. Learning a skill. Acquiring wisdom and insight into life. Don't allow society to stop you from learning the right thing. Don't allow society to take away your morals from you. There's a lot we need to learn. 
People come on social media. People are in their homes. Young girls are in their homes learning other things that are not important instead of just acquiring the most important things in life. You want to be on social media, get the right information. Get the things that will give you wisdom and insight. Watch the things that can impart good in you, not the bad ones. Not those who come to social media and tell you, I, I did surgery and I paid 600, I paid five, five, five and a million, I paid this and I got flat on Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no sense in some of these things. Young women that will come and show you their bottles and all that and tell you how they are making money out of their bottles and whatever. There's no sense in this. Let's not lack sense. Let's get wisdom. Let's acquire wisdom. Let's get insight. Go to platforms where you can learn a skill. Go to a platform where you can be inspired to know that it is not too late. You can still, don't care, listen. I know you say that mommy have no place to sleep, no food to eat and all that. And therefore I need to do all this to, to sustain my life. I understand. I agree with you. But there's a young girl who stood on the road and sold pure water. Who are who, who, those on the, on the, on the, 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 the traffic lights and all that. There are young women who said they would rather sell on that street pure water, sell something to earn an honest money than to sell their body. You are no better than them. I understand you, SQ. There are people who sleep on the roadside. It's everybody that gets help from the beginning. They struggle to get there. You can equally do it. You can't tell me that because you have nowhere to sleep. You know, that's why you allowed or succumb for people to sleep with you. I agree to your argument. Yes. But listen, there's another person like you, a woman like you, who never allowed themselves to be sleep or whatever, whatever misuse. They gave themselves to self-sacrifice. Sleep on some, somebody's veranda or somebody's corridor. Suffered through the process and God has helped them. Why don't you get inspired by them? Most of us don't want to suffer. Most of us are lazy. Most of us want it easy. Life is a process. It's not that easy. Suffer a little. Enjoy tomorrow. It is part of Christianity. That is the truth. That is why I'm calling on big companies. I'm calling on people, individuals. I'm calling on uh, people who have products and all that. Come support me. Come, let's build it up. I went to Winneba Nursing School to do to have a talk with them and over thousands of students. It was great. And I saw many young girls going through hell. One of the ladies told me, Mommy, I don't have a parent. I am sleeping with somebody's husband. He's the one paying for my fees. My heart is not into it. But if I don't do it, I can't come to school. I can't pay my fees. Mommy, what do I do? I saw a pain in that young lady. I saw tears coming out of her. And I told her, come to me. Let's, let me hold you. From this day, don't do it again. Let's all support you. We will help you by the little we can get. You can stand with me to help these young girls. Most of them don't want to do what they are doing, but they don't have help. They don't have the support. That is why I need you to come and spot them with me. Support me, sponsor me so that this young girl, this young guys can have hope and stand to be able to become somebody in the future. I beg all of you, the little you can give, the little you can support me with, will help somebody on the street, somebody in the school, to give themselves to God and sell and give themselves to good service and good morals. We are here to help as the Lord has called us. You can also help us support it. My numbers are on the screen, 055-236-9403. 055-236-9403. Please support me. Come, partner with me, and let's do this project together. For conferences, you can call me. For preaching, you can call me anytime. WhatsApp me or call me on these numbers, and I will gladly, gladly come so we can all do it together. My name is Reverend Mrs. Charlotte Otto, and this is The Real Woman in Me Show. God bless you for staying with me. Remember, I have books written by me. I have like three books, please. That's one of the books. Just what's up me. Come get a book. Read a lot about that woman.
a lot about women, a lot to learn biblical truth. Get it. And you will be blessed. And I told you, if you're having parties, weddings, funerals, get the real woman in me local drinks. This is millet. This is sobolo. And other types. I do it for you, free juice. I can do all for you, for your parties, for your weddings, for your funerals. Just get it to me. It will be given to you. Thank you so much. And I bless God for my crew. And then Real Woman in Me clothing. This one of the dresses, very beautiful. Weddings, parties. You can just get it. Let me style you. Very decent. Get to me and I'll get it for you. If it's African print, just let me know. I'll, I'll get you a very beautiful design and she will love it. This is the real woman in the show. My name is Lady Remy Charlotte too. Waiting for your partnership, waiting for your support. Let's do it together. I love you. Have a beautiful night. Bye.